Hey guys. So to give you context of the, this video today, this vlog, of course, as you may or may not know, we lost most of the stuff in the office. Um, we had a flood, an eight-inch flooded here. We lost the floors, uh, just kind of a nightmare, but we didn't want to let that ruin us. Um, and so I had a, a, a little bit where I was a little bit down on the whole project. And I was down because we had spent so long growing the office and, and building it. And all of a sudden now just everything was ruined. So I was feeling a little creatively uninspired. Uh, and so I took a Sharpie and I just started drawing on the walls. And I was like, hey, why don't we just, why don't we just Sharpie everything? And I just started like thinking, why don't we just have a bunch of designers come in, pick a spot on the wall and just kind of go crazy and do their own little thing on the walls. Uh, and so that's kind of what we did. So that's this vlog. Um, hope you enjoy it and let me know what you think. <laughs> what do you think? Look at my art. What do you think? <laughs> I don't know, it looks cool already. I kind of want to go with like kind of abstracty art-ish shapes and then just paint them in different colors and just kind of see how it looks. Look at my art. What do you think? I love it. You like it? Yeah, I was all expecting to like have to lie in your face. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna go for it. And just say, whatever, worse comes to worse, I just burn the house down. I already don't like it. Here's my wall. It looks kind of like a um, children's coloring book, but worse <laughs> somehow. So Heather's doing something here. So she wants to draw this up there, which is so good. It just makes me angry. Like, dude, it makes me mad how good she is. I don't know if it's jealousy or what, but anyway. What I love and I love the concept of is taking, just having artists come in, take like 10 foot by 10 foot and going nuts. AC, our camera guy, um, I found out that he's like a crazy graffiti artist. Like straight up, not illegal, he does it all legally, but the whole insane stuff you see on trains, the cool stuff, he does all that. All right guys, this is AC. Um, insane artist, I'm so excited for this. So you brought like 400 paints, man. So we're going for kind of like a, an 80s style, like neon. The inspiration. I usually, usually have a sketch, but I'm gonna freestyle this one, so. It'll still be, That's it'll so still cool, be interesting. Man. Oh yeah, so you got, these guys are, they're non-smell ones, right? Yeah. Yeah, it smells like rubbing alcohol. All right, so what I want you to do, I want you to smell this part. This is the smell one? Spray, spray it in the air. I smell nothing. Oh. A little bit of rubbing alcohol and that's it. That's it. Can I use it just as like an Axe body spray? Yeah. Uh, I've made a mistake. All these caps do something different. Oh. So this is like skinny. This is like extremely fat. But I always see it on trains. I always see designs on trains and yeah. I have no idea how people do it. Yeah. But now it kind of makes more sense having oh, different. Oh man, they, they use fat caps. Yeah, fat yeah, caps. Yeah, they want to be in and out. <laughs> <laughs> You've never done that, right? Uh, no, I'm You've never, You've never man. done any spray paints on, never, on trains? Man. I probably have like over 100 trains, but this is like back in the day. Have you ever seen one of your like paints in the wild? Yeah, man, and I've had people message me like, oh, I saw your, your, your train in Wisconsin. Oh, I saw it in <laughs> Mexico. That's so crazy. Oh, I saw it in California. It's called Benched. It means like they saw it. And I've even seen trains come back after like five years or six and, years. And they're still there. Yeah, yeah, and yeah they're yeah. still painted. They're all faded, but they're still there. And I'm like, what? I'm like, man, that is so awesome that it's still running. Hi everyone, breaking news coming down from this side of the office. Here I am with lead singer of Maroon 5, Alice Schwinderbalms. What would you call your biggest inspirations for this piece? Trees. Outside. Yes. Outside trees. <laughs> now, besides your trees in your mind, is there anything that you think would be great to shout out today? Um, nothing in particular. So if you have, if you have, any, more, if you have any more questions, uh, please, now is the time to ask them. What do you feel? I think I feel pretty sad, but about the piece, pretty enjoyable and a little hungry. Uh, that has been an interview. Man, you changed. Now I feel inadequate with my outfit. Hold up, I have a plan. This is Gabby. Oh, this is Gabby. <laughs> How do I look? Hi. What's up, AC? What's up, man? 
Dude, crushed it. I want to be as cool as you. Can you teach me about some things? You've show already showed me things that blew my mind. I have to know more. I have to know how to graffiti art this. Right. You can definitely do that. I can't reach down. I can't. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a shake weight. Well, first, you're going to want to start with your colors. Outline a piece. A little, little bit closer. A little closer. 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 There oh. Perfect. Wow. <laughs> I made art. <laughs> okay. Now, what you want to do is you can just fill it in like halfway and then switch over to the purple. Makes me appreciate your art so much more. <laughs> oh! Oh, gosh. I do the P, you do the G, and we'll see how we, how we compare. The sun was in my eyes. There is already a substantial difference. <laughs> Do you want to hold up yours? There's a little bit of a difference between the two. I respect what you do a thousand times more, man. That's awesome. If anyone wants to hire me, professional graffiti artist. Anything you want to spray? Shoes, hair, children? I'll get you. I think I have a place for this too. <laughs> I think it really complements the piece. <sighs> so everyone's gone. Uh, it turned out so good. We've had so many people in here. It's just felt so creative and wonderful. Oh my gosh, Alice has been just there for hours and hours. And, and it's just nice. It feeds to the energy and there's just stuff always going on. And then he got that done. I mean, yes, I uh, might have some brain damage from the amount of fumes that we've all been uh, smelling, but you know. It just has been so cool to uh, like see everyone be creative and like let their own brains just kind of splatter on the walls, not <laughs> Wording <laughs> to, to let people shine in their own creative way and to see how excited they were to like you want me to do this You know like that stuff is just so cool uh, and let people kind of be themselves in their own way I think it's just kind of what we're all about here. So it's just pretty exciting now. We have a little Sonic got the go face down here This place is like an art museum right now. It really is. We have so much art on the wall. I love it Parker loves people having creative freedom, so he just lets people go crazy I want to fill this whole place with, with stuff. I'm like addicted now. I'm like, we gotta get more artists, man. We gotta get more artists in here. So yeah, we're just gonna keep working. It feels good. It feels good in here. All right, I'll see you guys next time in the next vlog, everybody. Have a good one.